All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we have some breaking Jets news here. Joe Douglas has finally, finally addressed the quarterback position weeks after the Aaron Rodgers injury, bringing in veteran Trevor Simeon. Uh, Simeon is a guy who's bounced around Bengals, Vikings, Saints, Broncos, Jets. He's you know, he's, he's been around the league for a while, former seventh round pick out of Northwestern. Uh, he's actually from Orlando, believe it or not, which is really, really cool. Uh, but in any case, Simeon is a guy who just looking at Simeon as a player, he's a veteran. He knows offensive ball. He's carved out a role as a veteran backup quarterback in this league. Uh, I don't really have an issue with Trevor Simeon, right? Just individually. My issue here is with Joe Douglas waiting weeks to address the backup quarterback position. We, you know, I, I sound like a broken record here in all these different videos. I'm talking about a plan B or a fallback plan. What happens if Aaron Rodgers goes down with an injury? What happens if Zach Wilson goes down with an injury? What happens if Zach Wilson continues to play poorly? We can make these same exact arguments for the offensive line. It really seems Joe Douglas has a really, really, really difficult time preparing for the inopportune situations or, you know, uh, scenarios where the Jets constantly find themselves. So we add to the quarterback room. Are the Jets better today than they were yesterday in this room? I would honestly say yes. I would honestly say yes. Now, it's not like Trevor Simeon is going to be the starting quarterback against the Chiefs or the starting quarterback against the Denver Broncos. But he's at least in the room. He's It's, it's another person that could potentially throw the football down the field, somebody who could potentially lead the offense, right? So if Zach, uh, again, continues to play poorly, if we look uh, like we did offensively against the Kansas City Chiefs, I am going to be absolutely irate. Um, or sorry, look, look exactly like we have been against Dallas and uh, the Patriots. If we look that same exact way offensively uh, against Kansas City, I, man, I, I can't even put my headspace there. So if Salah, if Hackett, if Joe Douglas, if they are 100% being honest and being genuine, when they say that Zach Wilson is the team's starting quarterback, it's his team, Tim Boyle will not be receiving first team reps, they are 100% good to go in the Wilson direction, then change something up. Play to his strengths, do something differently. Throw the ball down the field, put McCole Hardman in the game, try to feed Xavier Gibson the football, toss him a screen. He looks pretty explosive with the ball in his hands. How about we try to get Zach Wilson outside of the pocket to where we can maybe utilize some of his mobility. Again, if this is the route that Joe Douglas and Sala and Hackett want to go down, they're going, they're going to continue to ride Zach. No matter what the on-field production looks like, no matter what the eye test looks like, no matter what the stats look like, no matter what the end result of the game looks like, it seems like it's Zach's team. There's nothing that is going to happen. Uh, the on-field production does not dictate the future of the quarterback position. If they want to roll with Zach, do something differently. Do something differently. And by the way, I hate to bring this up, but I do feel like it's relevant. When you talk about Russell Wilson, you know, back in Seattle, where was he at his best? It was that beautiful deep ball. It was getting him outside the pocket. And one of the biggest, biggest problems that I felt like we saw last season in Denver with Russ and Hackett. Hackett really, and Russell wanted to be a pocket passer, but Hackett really forced that issue. Like we didn't see much of Wilson, you know, extending plays on a bootleg, right? Getting outside the pocket and having chances to throw down the field with not a lot of, you know, uh, uh, chaos happening in front of him. He can kind of, he has a lot of breathing room. Uh, you know, there, there was a play uh, yesterday from the Houston Texans. It was a bomb from CJ Stroud, Texans Jaguars. And he had so much, like there was so much space in between him and the line of scrimmage, him and the offensive line, him and the defensive line. It's like, again, if we are, if we are 1000% content rolling with Zach Wilson moving forward, and we're not even going to entertain anybody else, then at least... Give him a chance and play to his strengths. We better see something different on Sunday night. In prime time at MetLife Stadium, the entire world's going to be watching. I am not trying to watch this offense go run, run, third and long pass. Run, run, third and long pass. I, it, it, de defenses can read Hackett like a book. Read him like a book. And Zach Wilson obviously has to play a lot better. But 
This has been one of the most frustrating starts of the season that I can remember in a long, long, long time. But hey, you know what? Trevor Simeon is here. He's in the building. I mean, hopefully at this point, like if, if things go south with Wilson, we have we, we we have another person in the locker room that we can potentially turn the football over to. We'll see what happens here. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.